Hi everybody, I'm Jeffrey Allen. This video is for my inner circle of friends and students and clients, and I'm really excited to announce the new program I have coming out with Mind Valley called Unlocking Transcendence, 60 Days to Spiritual Fitness. Now in this video, I want to give you a little backstory on how this program came about because it's, it's very interesting, it's different from my other programs, and I think if you know the energy behind it, you'll understand if it's really right for you. I'll give you a quick overview of the program too and how you can sign up if you want to sign up, and if you stay till the end, I'll give you a little bonus too, just for you as being part of my inner circle. Now, this program is a little bit different than the one that I said I was going to release earlier this year. So if you know me well, you know that I love information, I love spirituality, and the engineering side of me likes to take all that information and organize it and create systems and classes and make it so that you can integrate all this information into your life. And I was busy doing that this year, creating a new program that was much like uh, the same style as the duality program that I had over the last few years. So lots of information, lots of applications, and I was really excited about it when my guides told me, stop. <laughs> and when my guides say stop, I always do. I stop and listen. I was like, okay, what are they, they going to tell me? And they said, your students don't need more information. I was like, what? That's what everybody's asking for. They love duality, all the information. They want more information. And my guide said, okay, stop. They said, people need activation. People need to raise their level of energy so they can utilize all that information and all that learning that you're giving. And I thought, okay, I think you guys are talking about that spiritual fitness concept, right? And they said, yes. So my guides and I have been having this conversation for a couple of years about why do some people learn faster than others? Why do some people apply their spiritual studies to all different areas of their life? Um, why do some people struggle? Why do some people move quickly through life? And what they've told me over the years is that this has to do with your level of fitness for your spirit. Just like for your body, if you're physically fit, you're gonna be able to perform at your peak performance physically. If you're spiritually fit, you're able to perform at your peak performance spiritually. And since your spirit touches all areas of your life, that pretty much includes everything from uh, romance to relationships to you know money and jobs and your body and everything. And so I got it. Okay, my guides are talking about spiritual fitness. And so I asked them, well, how are we going to do that? How do I raise people's level of spiritual fitness? Because I'm used to teaching with lots of information and kind of stimulating the mind and, and getting people in that way. And they said, well, that's good. You know, we can do that later. But for now, we want you to focus on the activation piece, meaning that we want you to give people experiences that expand their awareness. And we want you to focus on the main categories of awareness, which are physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional. Because these are the, the big categories that we sort of grow up in as spirits. And they said, we also want you to focus on the uh, just self-awareness. When people are wondering, you know, who am I or why am I here or what does it mean to have consciousness? We want you to address that first so people can really get that clearly and kind of break through some of the old barriers or, or preconceived notions they have about consciousness before moving into these four big areas, you know, physical, emotional, spiritual, and mental. And they said, we want you to wrap up with this uh, training on impact awareness. So once people really understand themselves, the next step is, okay, how am I influencing other people in the world? And, you know, what am I here to do? The other thing my guides told me that was very fascinating, they said to give this activation experience, because activation is about energy, not information. They said, you, Jeffrey, need to be at your peak place spiritually when you're teaching this. You can't be just on your computer, you know, all mental like I like to get. They said, you need to be really grounded and present and spiritual in your energy to transmit that to the students. I said, okay, that, that makes sense. I get that. And so what we did is Hisami and I rented a place in Sedona with these beautiful, amazing mountain views. And if, if you've been to Sedona, you know the energy there is very special. When you go there, things tend to line up. The little dramas and concerns that you had before just sort of go into the background and it's very easy to line up spiritually and connect. And so every day there, that's exactly what I did. I'd wake up very early, watch the sunrise, I'd meditate and just look out at the beautiful views with this amazing gratitude for the beautiful planet and energy that we're living in and on. And from that space, I would tune in to my spirit guides and say, okay, what is it that we want to teach? What does this particular section uh, have that's going to take people to their next level of spiritual fitness? So what experiences can I give them, since I'm not giving information, what experiences can I give people to really raise their awareness up? And this was super fun because I, you know, I had less than uh, six weeks, about five weeks to write uh, 60 days worth of material and get it all recorded. So a lot of work. 
And I was anticipating this might be a little stressful, a lot of work, but it turned out that it was a lot of fun. As this information was coming in, I would just sit down and write it out. I, I got to write by hand. If I'm on the computer, it gets a little bit, you know, crazy energetically. And so I'd write it out and something amazing happened every day that I was writing was that I would notice, wow, I'm starting to get really amped up and really excited and feel really aligned. And this particular ex exercise I'm going to give people is really amazing. And I felt that about every single day, that this particular exercise is amazing. And I knew that, okay, this, this is good. If, if I couldn't get to that place of excitement, I just put it down and figure out, you know, I'll come back tomorrow, take a little rest. When I recorded this, all that enthusiasm, all that energy from Sedona, all that really beautiful alignment went into the program. And my guides were really clear. They said, this program needs to be fun. It needs to be engaging. It needs to be like you're just hanging out for 60 days, having a conversation. Because if it's not fun, if it's work, people aren't going to make it because 60 days is a big commitment. And so I tried to make it just like they said, where, you know, it's just you and me, we're having a conversation, I'm taking you through these different experiences, and it's very mellow and relaxed, and it's just 10 to 15 minutes a day. So I know you're going to love it because as I went through this program and recorded it for you, I got this huge boost in my awareness and my spiritual development. I grew up in many ways while I was creating the program. And I know that that happened because the same is going to happen for you. We are encoding all that activation that I was receiving and benefiting from myself into the videos, into the audios so that you could enjoy them and you could grow up and raise your level of spiritual fitness too. Now, when the program starts, we're all going to start at the same time and go through it together for 60 days. So I'll be there right with you. I'll actually be doing all the meditations myself and then writing about it and talking to you guys, answering questions uh, in the online forum. Now, I'll also be doing energy work like I always do. So this one is really important to keep everybody lined up. I'm going to be setting the space for the whole group. And then if you're in my inner circle, I'm going to do a little bit of bonus energy work, which is I'm going to connect you with both that energy in Sedona that I recorded this in and with that inspiration that I was receiving when I was making the videos. So I'm going to connect you, uh, everybody in this inner circle group, to that energy so you can get the biggest growth and the biggest benefit out of this program. And I'm just so excited. It finally came. The new program is coming out. The energy is beautiful. I know you're going to love it. And uh, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for being in my inner circle. And I will see you in the program.